prosecutors argued on Tuesday that Jared Baum, 41, allegedly forced Brill and Breezy Otteson, 17, to kneel and watch as he beat and stabbed her boyfriend, Riley Powell, 18. Bruce Johnson, right-wing Tribune, a Utah man killed a teenage couple whose bodies were found last week after they visited his girlfriend despite his warnings against it, prosecutors argued on Tuesday, Fox News reports. Jared Baum, 41, allegedly forced Brill and Breezy Otteson, 17, to kneel and watch as he beat and stabbed her boyfriend, 18-year-old Riley Powell, to death, before cutting her throat, according to court documents. Jared Baum has been charged with eight felonies, including two counts of aggravated murder, kidnapping and desecration of a human body. Utah County Sheriff's Office slash Fox News, from the Utah County Sheriff, the two bodies recovered from a mine shaft in Utah County have been positively identified as the bodies of two teens missing from Jurab County. The two bodies recovered from the Tintic Standard No. 2 mine on March 28 have been identified by the medical examiner as Brown and Breezy Marie Audison, age 17, and Riley Lee Powell, age 18. On January 2, 2018, Breezy and Riley were reported missing from Eureka, Utah. The Drab County Sheriff's Office and the St. Pete slash Drab Major Crimes Task Force, MCTF, conducted an extensive investigation into their disappearance. They obtained and executed search warrants and collected evidence, including the Jeep that belonged to Riley and personal items believed to belong to both Breezy and Riley. On Sunday, March 25, a woman named Morgan Henderson was arrested in St. Pete County on charges unrelated to the missing person case in Jurab County. Investigators had previously spoken to Henderson about the missing person case. While in custody, she began to disclose information to detectives that led them to the evidence described above. It also led Drab and St. Pete slash Drab MCTF to a mine shaft in the dividend area in the southwest part of Utah County. Realizing that this area was in Utah County they contacted detectives with the Utah County Sheriff's Office. Working together detectives discovered two bodies in the Tintic Standard No. 2 mine. A mine in the Chinchik Mining District that has been out of service for decades. On the morning of Wednesday, March 28, detectives with the Utah County and Jurab County Sheriff's Offices, St. Pete slash Jurab MCTF, and the heavy rescue team with Unified Fire Authority, UFA, responded back to the Chinchik Standard No. 2 mine. After a lengthy effort, UFA's heavy rescue team was able to recover both bodies. The bodies were transported to the medical examiner's office in Taylorsville. Initial indications were that they were the bodies of Breezy Otteson and Riley Powell. The condition of their bodies strongly suggested that their deaths were not accidental. Following autopsies the medical examiner was able to positively identify the bodies as being Breezy and Riley. During the course of the investigation Jared William Baum, age 41, of Eureka, was identified as a suspect in the disappearance of Breezy Otteson and Riley Powell. He was already in the custody of the Juab County Sheriff's Office on a federal hold with the U.S. Marshal's Office. Baum was transferred to the Utah County Jail, being held on the U.S. Marshal's hold. A short time later detectives added the following charges, two counts aggravated murder, first-degree felony, two counts aggravated kidnapping, first-degree felony, two counts desecration of a dead human body, third-degree felony, one count possession of a dangerous weapon by a restricted person, third-degree felony, one count witness tampering, third-degree felony, and one count obstructing justice, class A misdemeanor. Baum is currently being held without bail on these new charges. If prosecutors don't pursue the death penalty, Baum could face a minimum of 25 years to life in prison if convicted. Execution by Firing Squad. Hashtag Maga God Bless. Bruce Johnson Right Wing Tribune Be sure to follow us on Nation in Distress and America's Freedom Fighters on Facebook.